Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost anything. It helps me and it helps the channel grow. Please remember this is a general reading. It doesn't resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates for you. So we've got mending and it's number seven and it's a spiritual card. So you could be healing yourself here. You could be mending relationships. Um, we've got building blocks, number 10, yes. So you're healing relationships, healing situations, solving problems here. Um, and it's tiny steps. You're taking tiny steps towards success here. You're making tiny steps towards the end of your challenges. Tens are endings. So let's see what this is about. Spirit, please show me clearly. Show me clearly. It could be having good financial plans. If you haven't been good with money, you can sort that out. It's solving problems of any kind within your any area of your life here. The Seven of Swords. The Death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in their chart. And the Empress. Now, there has been deceit or underhandedness of some sort. Somebody's tried to get away with something here. You've learned this has came to light. It's about taking this information and moving forward. Now, there's transformational energy around this. Now, this is could flip-flop. It could be that you're wanting to move on from this person. It could be you could heal things. It could be that you're using this information here that you've gained to help resolve situations or problems that you've been going through, depending on what this is for you. So there's transformational and you can change this situation. It's time to take the steps towards mending things, healing things, because that there's going to be rebirth and rejuvenation. There's going to be harmony, going to be restored here, but it's going to take an effort in your part. Definitely, you're going to have to put the effort in your part. Do your part here, because this is somebody who's, it's love, it's harmony. Um, she has built beautiful things around her. She's Venus, represents Venus. Uh, she's enjoying the luxuries that she's created here. And it's about here taking the steps that you need here to bring this type of energy into your life. So rebirth, rejuvenation, it could be pregnancy as well. You might have had disappointments there, but it doesn't mean to say that you can't transform this for some of you as well. So let's just see what the Seven of Swords energy is about, Spirit, please. The Two of Pentacles. The Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Now, this is about weighing things up here. It's something that you've invested in. You've shown a lot of patience. There's been a certain amount of growth. Uh, there could have been challenges that have cropped up here. You're maybe going to have to juggle things a bit, weigh things up here, make head over heels decisions. Twos are choices for me. And how we're going to bring balance back to a situation. Don't choose your battles carefully here. If there's been disappointment with someone here or you feel somebody's trying to get away with something, you're going to have to obviously look at that. Um, but choose your battles carefully. We can change this. This is fives are change by weighing things up, making the correct decisions. It could be you're juggling too much as well. And that's caused uh, upset here as well of some sort, because this can be taking on too much. Um, we need to weigh things up anyway. We need to, you know, don't listen to other people in this. Don't get involved in, in this situation. Take a step back. Take a step back and it could be like I say, you taking a step back to see the way forward. It's going to help you, ground you. You'll be able to recover from it and you'll be able to make the choices that's needed here. Don't listen to other people. Don't get involved in antagonistic situations with others and petty squabbles and all these sorts of things. We need to weigh things up here to decide what we're going to invest in. Now, there's change here. Some of you might decide to continue down the path you're on. Some of you might decide that you, the efforts you're putting in, you've had enough now. You know, you've got to this stage, but you're not prepared to put any more effort in here. And this is what you're having to weigh up. It's your decision at the end of the day. We all have free choice. This is guidance. It's not telling you what to do. So we'll see what the death card's about. It can be that making, you know, juggling things, making small changes here is going to help rebuild things most definitely. Because it's building blocks. It's tiny steps towards restoring balance. Yeah, the devil energy here, the eight of wands, and the page of wands. Now, there'll definitely be for some of you that you feel you're stuck and held back, chained to something here, and you're thinking about the path you want to take. 
Once you come from that inspired place, you're going to get the clarity you need. This could be good news coming in. This could be you deciding how you want to go forward, but there's very sudden movement forward. So this could be your mindset as well, thinking you're never going to get over this. You could be dealing with somebody that you feel is toxic. They could have habits. It could be a controlling boss, a controlling person. You feel chained to something that isn't good for you. It will be different for everybody. And it's time to look at this and decide what path you're going to go down for growth. What is best for you here? What am I going to do? You're going to weigh this up here. It will be a different outcome for everybody. Once you decide what you're going to do and you, you connect in with your intuition, there's going to be this very fast movement forward. There's going to be changes. So we're taking the baby steps, but it's going to bring change in. The, this is transformation. Definitely transformation. It's going to transform things and you're going to go forward. So you might need to take baby steps. You might want to plan your way forward here. But don't doubt yourself. Like I say, don't doubt yourself that you can't deal with this. There's nothing we should be chained to. Uh, because uh, that's not good for you. It's something that's that's holding you back. But it can be sorted or it can be transformed. It's entirely your shout. Let's see here. Hidden depths. Now green's healing for me. It's a beautiful green energy of healing here. Something hidden is about to come to light. Now, this could be you realising something, like we said, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So it's about dealing with these things and facing up to them now. How are we going to mend things? How are we going to bring balance back here? OK, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.